Okay, we are here in Austin, Texas, rolling down Barton Hills Drive here. Two-way cycle track with protection, enhanced separation. I think we've missed the, uh, the rush to the elementary school, but we'll be rolling right past Barton Hills Elementary. And you can see the crossing guard is still here. And today's date is uh, August 30th. You can see that the planters uh, are rather dead this time of year. We've had quite the horrendous drought this year. The, uh, these planters are managed by volunteers here in the community. And so they will uh, get some fresh plantings in here as soon as the, uh, the weather is less harsh. But as you can tell, that was a very comfortable ride past the elementary school. And again, we missed the rush of kids getting there. So I need to wake up earlier and get out here earlier. It is actually noticeably cooler this morning in the mid to upper 70s, whereas it has been quite humid and in the 80s recently. So yeah, it feels kind of nice right now. And again, an all ages and abilities facility like this really helps support a culture of activity, encouraging more people to get out more often. It's always important to note too that uh, a protected cycle track like this really enhances the comfort for pedestrians on the sidewalk because it creates a nice buffer for pedestrians on the sidewalk. If you'll notice, there are no sidewalks to the right-hand side of the road. And so this really helps to enhance the comfort level for everyone walking and biking. So when you look at facilities like this, this is not just bike infrastructure. This is also pedestrian infrastructure. It helps make the entire street safer, more comfortable for everyone involved, including drivers, because they end up driving slower. It's a much slower environment now than it was prior to this facility being built. Okay, we are gonna take a left here onto one of the network of pathways that connects the community to Zilker Park, as well as the Barton Springs Pool.
and you see the uh, bike parking here for the south entrance to the pool. And off to the right here, you'll see we've got some ball fields. A very, very big pecan tree where people gather, play music, and socialize. And another uh, softball field there. And you can see the great lawn here. And a few people getting out enjoying the Barton Springs pool. I believe it's still free before 8 a.m. and then they start charging after that. I think the gates open at 5 a.m. so if you want to get up very early and and swim before uh, the sun comes up you can do so. Now we're on the path right along Barton Creek and we're going to be going under Barton Springs Road. We're going to pop up onto the other side of uh, the creek, circle back around so that we can ride the approach on the newly striped Barton Springs Road that also has some enhanced separation as I'm calling it now <laughs> I hesitate to call it protection but there's some level of protection to the, uh, the Zikla armadillos or zebras as they like to call them Now we're on the other side of Barton Springs, or excuse me, on the other side of Barton Creek, heading towards the Barton Springs Pool. We have our little Zilker train here on the right, the train tracks. You can see one of the gateway entrances to Zilker Park there in the distance. And again, under Barton Springs Road a second time. And again, we're just doing this so that we can show you how seamless it is for us to loop around, access the park, access Barton Springs Road. This is the Pecan Grove picnic area section of Zilker Park. And again, off in the distance, where you see that sunshine is the Barton Springs Pool. And again, we're gonna do one final look here at the installation on Barton Springs Road. And we're sort of at this little splitter here for Barton Springs Road. You can see that we have a little delineation for bikes that are turning right into the park to access the Butler Hike and Bike Trail. And then we also have 
the existing four lanes of traffic and unfortunately the 35 miles per hour speed limit sign going through Zilker Park, which is really quite ridiculous uh, because we know that people will drive faster than that, especially since the design speed of this road is closer to 45. People will routinely be driving 50, 55. Nonetheless, um, the future for this road and how it gets redesigned redesigned is for a future phase and we'll have to wait and see what that ends up looking like what we're going to do though is ride on the barton springs phase one barton springs road phase one redesign and so we're going to see what that's like let's go And now you can see the new speed limit sign of 30 miles per hour. You see that it says right lane ends. Hopefully people will realize, yes, it, it does end. If you're turning right on AZ Morton Road, that's cool. You're in a good position to make that happen. This bus is turning right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him do that. Oh, no, he's not turning right, sorry. He's actually staging to go to the bus stop up on the other side. So he actually probably shouldn't have had his uh, right turn light on yet. I think he was probably anticipating that he may need to stop at this stop up here, but nobody requested a stop and there's nobody waiting. And you'll see that not only do we have this enhanced separation with the Zeklas and the flex post we also come up onto this platform here at the bus stop so had there been somebody waiting or somebody requesting a stop that bus would have stopped in that location and uh, then i would have proceeded up and over not having to get into the lane of travel Obviously, I would need to yield to anybody getting onto or off of the bus. Since, obviously, as a person on a bike, I need to yield to anybody who is a pedestrian. And you do see a small amount of on-street parking here in this area. And you see how this kind of works out. We've got plenty of space and uh, folks are able to maneuver into those spots fairly seamlessly so yeah this is the new Barton Springs Road phase one and the other cool feature about all of this is these new transit stops as well as the enhanced uh, protection in the sense that it's shorter crossing distances now at these crosswalks and so whenever you have a shorter crossing distance for pedestrians it is a much more pleasant experience getting across the street we have a known leak here we don't know why but water keeps puddling in this particular location a little bit gross it actually splashed up onto my feet the joys of wearing sandals as you're riding uh, anyways you know cool off the toes a little bit so here we are we're uh, back at the notorious crossing that we have that is the intersection with Lamar Boulevard uh, this is a monster strode that needs to be redesigned um, desperately and obviously because it's such a monster road strode we are um, in a situation here where we've just got a lot of real estate we have to get across but we're going to queue up over here and position ourselves to be able to get across the street and we'll take the uh the pedestrian crossing to do so and then we'll queue up to go the other direction on barton springs road we're essentially doing the same route that we did last week on monday 
today again is August 30th and that is a Wednesday so I just want you to see sort of this final condition of what we are calling phase one of the uh, the pilot phase two will actually get installed after ACL the music festival there in Zilker Park they were hesitant to put that uh, in until the uh, the music festival was done and we can now cross so we'll head across and queue up get ourselves positioned to go back across Lamar Boulevard and see what this side of Barton Springs Road looks like and you might be able to see a person queued up uh, to turn left from Barton Springs Road onto Lamar here. We'll see him execute that. Again, he's uh, on electric assist bike. He's obviously quite confident riding in traffic. So he merged from the protected bike lane over to the left turn lane so that he didn't have to uh, sort of do a, a two-stage turn the way I did. I felt that was quite comfortable and fine. I didn't want to have to, you know, merge over across two lanes, three lanes of traffic to be able to execute the left turn maneuver that he did, but that's completely fine. Again, he's confident in doing that. The reason why we are putting in all ages and abilities facilities such as this is so that less confident riders are able to really feel like they're able to get around their city to be able to get to meaningful destinations this section of barton springs road has long been known as restaurant row because there's lots of amazing restaurants along this stretch and it's truly a pleasure to be able to get to meaningful destinations by walking and biking or scootering or skateboarding <laughs> however it is you decide to get there but it just makes it that much more comfortable being able to get to those destinations and again another one of the restaurants here this is a food truck lot where there's a whole bunch of little eating establishments and other retail operations and then just past the food truck area here we have Chewy's and again you see the this enhanced separation the flex posts and the Zekla zebra armadillos as we'll call them helping out and it really does make for a much more comfortable environment and again this is probably my favorite part is this crossing right here this is the crossing where i've ne nearly been hit multiple times it's now much shorter the cars are traveling at a much lower speed and so it's easier to navigate across that crosswalk and it i can't tell you how comfortable it makes me feel we don't need to go across the bridge again but i just wanted to show you that update here for the facility it's working out quite well and actually since we've got a little bit of a queue here let's just take a look and see how well this group this lineup of cars are able to navigate and get across the intersection here with AZ Morton. Swing around, they just got their green light. And I'll do a little slow pedal on the pathway here. You'll notice some sort of larger gaps just means that uh, 
There's a little bit of a hesitation before getting started. And you see that that initial line has completely cleared out. So there was no waiting through additional light cycles. This is simply a platoon of cars coming through. But uh, yeah, and again, these cars are traveling much slower than they were before. And it really makes a big difference. I'm swinging back around and you can see just now the light turned yellow and then to red. And we'll start the queuing once again. Really absolutely no reason for drivers to complain. They're able to get through here in very short order. And again, we'll see the queuing start up. And it'll actually make it safer for me to be able to get across the you know, crosswalk here, because I'm gonna head home. But the uh, this new redesign is a lot safer than it was. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was and much more comfortable to be able to walk and bike. And let's see if uh, these guys don't block the crosswalk. They did not. I appreciate them doing that. And just like that, you'll notice I'm able to get across the crosswalk, no problem. Good stuff. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this final ride down the completed phase one of Barton Springs Road. That's all for now. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. <laughs>